Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a preview for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus the Rochester Americans as our Phantoms take on the 13-8 and Americans who lost two games to the Charlotte Checkers this week, one being 11-1. to So obviously the Americans are looking to bounce back themselves, and the other being, as I'm pulling it up right now, I believe it was 4-1. to that they lost to the Charlotte Checkers on Tuesday was the other game. Oh no, Tuesday was the eleven to one game. Where then Wednesday was the game they lost four to two to the Charlotte Checkers, the Rochester Americans. So that's their last games coming in. Of course, Lehigh obviously has played the more recent game as our Lehigh Valley Phantoms come in from playing a very solid game against the Hartford Wolfpack last evening that they were able to win 3-1 to one and look to carry that momentum into playing the Rochester Americans who haven't been as hot since coming back from their protocol. So they look to keep playing the much more wiser, word to the wiser, skating to the wiser, I guess is a way to put it in hockey, um, zone play that executes the offense better and moves the puck up the ice more efficiently and more effectively that the Phantoms have been playing in these last couple of games. And really since that 5-3 loss to Charlotte that they were able to start getting the three goals or more each game. Then you got four goals in back-to-back. You were able to win 3-1 to one and play a pretty good um defensive game in front of Nagel. And then Nagel stepped up when you didn't play good in front of him in the game last night to Hartford. It seems like uh, Tony and Drakis tweeted the great Tony and Drock is that Nagel last night uh, got his first start, um, which could mean that Ersan's return could be tonight, where he hasn't played since the end of October. Also, Felix Sandstrom, for those that do not know, he got the call up, so claps up to him to the NHL. Seems like he's healthy and back from his sinus infection due to Carter Hart, unfortunately, being ill. Not the reason why you want a guy to get a call up, but uh, uh, Sandstrom's been solid, like Tony tweeted earlier as well. The goaltending hasn't been a bugaboo for the Phantoms for the most part this year. It's been what's gone on around the goaltending that's led to failure. But they've been better of late, and the Phantoms look to keep building on that as they play the Rochester Americans, who have been struggling of late since coming back off the code protocols, and particularly in their last two. A big plus for the Phantoms is a guy that plays very good 200-foot game, Linus Sandin, is expected to be back um, in tonight as well, where Wade Allison, unfortunately, though, in the flip, is not expected to be in as he put on the hit, then at a breakaway later, and then went out since if you play uh, in Hartford, they have to skate the bench. It's not next to the bench, the tunnel they go down. They have to skate to the sides. You can tell very easily when a player goes off. Uh, he had to go off and unfortunately did not come back. So hopefully uh, that just seems like it's something since it looked like he was able to potentially square off tonight. That's something that's just going to be a day-to-day. Hopefully he's able to come back and play the game even potentially <clears throat> on Tuesday, uh, which would be a great sign for the Philadelphia Flyers if Wade is able to play either against Hershey on Tuesday or in the home-and-home home on Hers- at Hershey on Wednesday uh, before the Phantoms go on the holiday break as long as everything stays on schedule because um, the, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms right now are looking up. They're looking a lot better, and hopefully they can keep that going because it looks... <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like since the firing that the Flyers have looked better as well, getting their um, domino little by little. The Phantoms have looked a lot better where I didn't really realize that and think about it, but it seems like there has been a trickle-down domino effect. And the Phantoms team has looked a lot better because they know that they're playing for a new head. They're playing for a new leader. They're playing for someone that they have to reprove themselves to up above so they can get the call first time or get recalled back up. And that's something that seems to have added more energy to this team. And also, I think it's just Le Perrier, after a couple weeks into the head coaching ranks, figures out how to not just put guys in position to develop them better, but also execute winning game strategies as well. And we're starting to see that better as well. So I look for that to take effect tonight as well, as you're playing a struggle in Rochester team, but also it's a team that can really come out and pounce on you early still in the Rochester Americans. Um, Their goals against are 79 to goals for being 81. Our goals four are 55, the goals against 71. So they score more goals, but obviously Rochester still allows a lot of goals. Uh, when it comes for players to watch for the Rochester Americans, uh, you obviously have to watch uh, Biro, Davidson, even Fitzgerald, uh, who was able to, if he's back down, he was able to get an assist, I saw. 
um, with Buffalo, but if he's back down and playing, you always have to watch him. Uh, and then you have to watch Paterka for sure. Murray, the big kid as well. You have to watch Merch out there as well. So there's a lot of guys on Rochester you have to watch. They are a very good team this year. They've just been in a cold streak the last couple of games. And hopefully the Phantoms are able to take advantage of that cold streak and give them another L tonight. So let's go Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Let's keep the winning ways going tonight. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And go Phantoms. Let's beat those Rochester Americans. Peace out, everybody.